Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd do something a little different today. I um, I wanted to make a video on the handbrake and, and how to calibrate it. When I first got it delivered, um, I plugged it in and thought it would work and, and I was having some problems. Um, when I spoke to, I emailed the company straight away who I got it from, which is RC Habitat. So um, you can go check out their stuff on the eBay store. They sell a lot of things. Um, so I sent them an email and uh, they got back to me within hours on how to actually recalibrate the handbrake so that it will work in your game. So I thought I'd make a quick video just to show you guys how to do that because um, it might help some of you because when I did a search I couldn't really find anything to help me out. So um, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go to your settings on your computer um, you go to your devices and then devices and printers. What you'll get there is a setup so you can see I've got, you know, monitors and keyboards, my G920, and then you've got the little controller there with, with the handbrake uh, called handbrake. So what you want to do is you want to right click and go properties and then you'll get this page up. Oops, sorry guys, I've actually clicked the wrong one. That's not what you click. You go game controller settings. You want to click on your handbrake and you want to go properties. And then you come up with this test. So you've got the test controller and you've got your slider. So you can see here when I pull on the handbrake, it comes on. When I come, when I leave it up, it's off. So you can actually calibrate your handbrake to the point you want. So if you want to adjust it and make it tighter, things like that, you can do so and then recalibrate the handbrake so that it's on when you want it to be on or if you want a bit more play in it, you can have a bit more play in it. So to actually calibrate it. So when I plugged mine in, basically it was off and when I was pulling on it, nothing was happening until the very point I'd get a little tiny bit of handbrake there, but I had to pull it really hard and I didn't want that. So you go to settings and you've got calibrate. So you hit calibrate, it comes up with a little wizard box here. So you go next, it says leave the handle centered and press a button on the controller. So you just hit next. So that means basically leave it where it normally would be. Next, and then you've got your, your slider. So move the calibrate move the slider all the way up and down so down and then up and then hit next and go finish and see how it's come up all of a sudden now i've got it's on a little bit and then when i pull it it's there so that means that we need to calibrate it again because that's not what we want so you want that to be off yeah, we're off, next, and then we'll move it down, and then back up, next. Finish that, and there you go. Now we've got it back to being on or off. So it seems like it's staying on a bit, so let's just undo this, put a bit more slack in it, yeah. So now when we pull it on, we're off. So it takes a little bit of time. There you go. So there you go, guys. That's uh, just a quick video. Hit apply. Hit OK. It's a quick video on, on how to potentially get your handbrake working uh, if you're having some problems with it in the beginning. Now, this probably won't work on all different types of handbrakes, depending on the brand. Um, but it's something to look out for, and it might, uh, it might help you guys out. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll be bringing some videos soon. Uh, I've bought some more uh, gear for the, I guess, my uh, my rig here. So um, I'm not going to say too much. You'll just have to watch and see. But we should be getting some some new, uh, new pieces of kit over the coming weeks. Alright guys, see you again soon.